the Democratic National Committee has just made an important rule change in order to benefit a certain billionaire. Uh, so now that billionaire is, of course, Michael, Michael Bloomberg, uh, who is running in the Democratic Party to go after Bernie Sanders. Now, previously, the rules in order to get into a debate involved grassroots funding. So you have to have enough people donating to your campaign as one of the preconditions to make it into the debates, because it shows, of course, that you have a lot of backing. Now, Mike Bloomberg, he's a billionaire, so he is self-funding his campaign. But wasn't there another candidate who said he was self-funding his campaign? And he said that would insulate him from special interests, as Michael Bloomberg says. Oh, right. Originally, that was Donald Trump. And then later on, he started getting massive donations from billionaires. Weird. Uh, and it's almost as if he's done everything to help billionaires and himself ever since. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so now you had to get a certain amount of small donations in order to earn a spot in the debates. Now, Michael Bloomberg is not at that point, which is why he will not be in the next debate, uh, which is coming up very soon after Iowa. However, he might qualify for the Nevada debates. Now, those rules that were in place that were changed by the DNC um, were actually enforced in the last eight debates. Now, the new rules stipulate that candidates have to have at least one pledge delegate from Iowa or New Hampshire or poll at 10% or higher in four national polls in order to participate. They can also qualify by getting at least 12% in two sanctioned polls. Now, even by these new metrics, at this point, Bloomberg is still on the line for Nevada, but you have seen him rise in the polls. Why? It's because he's literally blanketing the airwaves in ads. He has taken out hundreds of millions of dollars in ads. I mean, you cannot go on, you know, you cannot watch TV or go online without seeing a Bloomberg ad. It's insane. He has spent, as I said, over 200, nearly $300 million on ads just recently. He even bought an ad in the Super Bowl. So, look, there's a good chance that because of all this, he's, he will make it to uh, Nevada, but we don't know yet. But if it's true, if he does make it into the Nevada debate, then it just shows that you can literally buy your way onto the debate stage right now. And... That's a big problem because you know what? There's a there's some hypocrisy here, right? So now under the old rules, people like Cory Booker and Mike Gravel were excluded from the debate. Mike Gravel had a lot of grassroots support. But because of certain polling rules, they're like, oh, Mike Gravel, not going to get into the debate. Not at all. Hmm, really? Uh, and so, it, it, look, again... You want to complain that, and, and I've heard this, right? There's a lot of complaints about the primaries being only old white men now, uh, or white, you know, just mainly white, right? Again, Cory Booker excluded. They would not change the rules for Cory Booker. But Mike Bloomberg gives a lot of money to the DNC just before the debate, uh, tens of thousands of dollars. And Tom Perez suddenly says, oh, you know what? We're going to change the rules. Uh, we're going to let Mike Bloomberg into the debates now. So now you have politicians that are calling this out. Uh, for one, Elizabeth Warren, right? Uh, Elizabeth Warren says, DNC didn't change the rules to ensure good, diverse candidates could remain in the debate stage. They shouldn't change the rules to let a billionaire on. Billionaires shouldn't be allowed to play by different rules on the debate stage in our democracy or in our government. Uh, there's another former candidate, uh, Julian Castro, who now is a Warren supporter. Uh, he said this, quote, when uh, Cory Booker led an effort to change the debate thresholds, the DNC refused, saying they couldn't benefit any candidate. It seems the only candidate they're willing to benefit is a billionaire who's buying his way into the race. Total mess. Look, both Huni and Castro and Elizabeth Warren are 100% correct. The DNC did refuse to change its rules for candidates of color. Refused to do issue-focused debates like cl on climate change or on poverty. It refused to do uh, to allow their candidates to do other debates that are unsanctioned by the DNC. 
saying that if you do these side debates like TYT wanted to, uh, the Young Turks main channel wanted to set up a climate debate, uh, they were unable to do so because they're barred or would be barred from the DNC doing further sanctioned debates. And yet, for all this supposed unwavering on the DNC when it came to their rules, oh no, it's set in stone. Well, now Michael Bloomberg comes in, first Bernie Sanders surges in Iowa, New Hampshire, Nevada, California, and other places. And Bloomberg starts to rise in the polls. They're like, Bloomberg, Bloomberg, Bloomberg. Oh, we got to change the rules. We need Bloomberg in there. Oh, we need more des uh, disparate voices. Uh, we need other voices. Uh, and the person that uh, apparently we don't have enough, in <laughs> and it's amazing that they say this, um, or that they're doing this, because it basically says, oh, yes, we, we only have one billionaire voice in there, Tom Steyer. We need more billionaire voices. White billionaires. No to people of color. Yes to more billionaires. That's the DNC right now. I mean, it's ridiculous. It, it's And by the way, again, Bloomberg is massively anti-Bernie Sanders. The whole point is that he's now considered the establishment's last best hope against a Bernie Sanders presidency. It, it's right here. We can all see it. It's super obvious. Now, the good news is I think this is going to backfire. Bloomberg has an atrocious record in New York. You got stop and frisk. You got homelessness. You got tax giveaways to wealthy developers. You have more. He has systematically showed that how much he despises people of color and the poor of every race. He's a disaster. And at some point, his ability to blast his BS all over the airwaves is not going to be a benefit to him anymore. So now, Bernie Sanders gets the last word on this. Uh, and he said, uh, and by the way, he weighed in just before, or I'm sorry, just after Bloomberg had announced, quote, I don't believe that Mr. Bloomberg is going to succeed. Because I think at the end of the day, people of this country do not want to see a billionaire by an election. And that is what precisely what Mr. Bloomberg is trying to do. Mm, indeed. Hey, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc., we're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron patreon.com slash tyt nation that goes a long way to help us keep the lights on and you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media